What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to have a go at creating a wallpaper with the Spider-Man theme. So Photoshop windows open at the ready please. Go to file and new. I'm going to open up a brand new transparent canvas, slightly wider than my original one. My original one that you saw at the start of the video was 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. I'm going to increase the width to 900 pixels. Click OK. Double click on your layer name and rename this red. Double click on your foreground color box. Change the color code to the following B1030D. Click OK. Select your paint bucket tool left click once inside the canvas. Don't forget for this tutorial to use command instead of control or option instead of alt if you're a Mac user. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer dark red. This time for your foreground color enter the code 5C0000. Click OK. Use the paint bucket tool again to fill the canvas. With the dark red layer selected still, go to Filter, Pixelate and Color Halftone. Ensure that the max radius is 8, channel 1 108, channel 2 162, channel 3 90, channel 4 45. Click OK. With the dark red layer selected still, go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Set the pixel number to 1.7. Click OK. Change the opacity setting for the dark red layer to 25%. Go to create a new layer. Go to Edit, Preferences and Guides Grid and Slices. For the grid option in this particular project, I'm going to use the color black as the grid line color and there will be a grid line every 30 pixels, subdivision 7 style lines. Click OK. Go to view, show and grid. Ensure that snap is also ticked. Select your rectangular marquee tool. With your new layer selected as well as your marquee tool, left click and draw a rectangle shape which is 7 blocks wide and 6 blocks high. Let go of your mouse button when you've done. With the marquee tool still selected, go to the line so that you can see a box appear next to your arrow cursor. Right click and click on stroke. Set the stroke width to 10 pixels, location center normal and 100% opacity. Make sure that preserve transparency is not ticked. Double click on the color box. Type in C2, C2, C2 as your color code. Click OK. Click OK again. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. Go to your eraser tool. I'm going to use a 27 pixel hard round eraser for this with the opacity at 100%. Left click to erase the bottom line of your rectangle. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard to select the free transform tool. Right click on your selected object and click on warp. With your left mouse button down, drag the circle up by four blocks. Let go of your mouse button and shift once your circle is on the line after the fourth block. Repeat the same with the next circle to the right. Go to the inner line on the left. Left click and drag your mouse button up by one block. Let go of your mouse button. Repeat the same for the other side here. Press enter. Rename this layer web. Right click on the web layer and choose duplicate layer. Go to view and untick snap. 
hold shift on your keyboard, left click on the shape and drag that to the right. Drag the duplicate layer until both lines are parallel with each other. To create the rest of your Spider-Man web, you can hold control, select the other web layers, right click and merge them together before you make new copies. Once they are merged together, then you can duplicate them. Don't forget to hold shift each time when you're creating copies. Repeat this process of doubling the number of web links until you get to your sixth copy. What you see on screen now is not how your web will appear. I'm just showing you here how many web links you should have once you've doubled the amount of links with your layer duplications until you get to the sixth copy. You should end up with eight links across and eight links down. I'm going to rename this layer web again. Using the move tool, drag your web so that it is centralized. Go to view, show and grid. Double click next to the web layer name to open up layer style. Left click in drop shadow. Blend mode should be set to darken with the color black. Opacity set to 90%. Angle at 90 degrees. Distance 5 pixels. Spread 18%. Size 9 pixels. Noise 0%. Keep the default contour as well. Click OK. Go to your zoom tool. Ensure that the minus magnifying glass is selected to zoom out. Left click twice. Press Ctrl and T to select the free transform tool again. Reduce the size of the web layer by about 20%. Drag your layer to the center. With the web layer selected, hold Ctrl, left click to select the dark red layer as well. Right click and merge layers. Go to Edit, Transform and Warp. Using your left mouse button, drag the circles and the lines to the positions that you can see on the screen here. Go to create a new layer. Rename this black. Press Shift and Backspace on your keyboard. Select black from the contents menu, click OK. Go to your eraser tool. Set the size of the eraser to 1000 pixels, opacity 100 and soft round. Go to the middle of your canvas on the black layer. Left click twice. Go to your text tool. The font style will be Gil Sans MT, regular 200 point strong and black. Left click on the middle of your canvas. Type in the first letter of the word you want to display on here. Right click on your text layer and click rasterize type. I'm going to make the other layers invisible here so I can see what I'm doing. Use the magnifying glass to zoom back into your screen. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard, right click and click on warp. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard and then right click on your selection and choose Warp. For each of my letters I want to turn the ends of the letters into pointed spider leg type shapes. Left click and drag the grey circle up halfway on the block and do the same with the block only going down. Press enter when you're done. Notice how the sides are a bit too square. What you can do on this occasion here is use a hard round eraser tool to go around the square edges and make them more rounded. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard. Reduce the width of the shape by about 25%. Repeat this process until you have all the letters that you want together. Ensure that you merge all your letter layers together as well before the next part. 
double click on your text layer to open up the layer style choose drop shadow again normal black 100% opacity 90 degrees distance 11 spread 0 size 16 with a normal contour as well press ok press ctrl and t on your keyboard then right click on the text and choose perspective left click on one of the top corner boxes and drag that across so that h in the top here equals 6 press enter when you're done Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel please like and subscribe. Join me again soon for another photoshopping tutorial. Take care.